Hello again. And I want to continue with this nice Kickstarter EEG headband, two channel with hardware. Uh, but the last, uh, I extensively, uh, where are we? Made as, as six twenty minutes sessions and it did not really um, show any good results and very hard to read this, this graph uh, because it's one hundred percent and only the the lower the theta and the delta and the upper the gamma that's absolute whereas the others sum up to one hundred percent and so you could see the the middle of the between the the yellow that's the alpha and uh, the light red, that's the uh, beta. So these um, might be the border between uh, low brave, brave waves, sorry. It's a complicated topic to really, and this time I want to um, focus on how data about a brain state or mind can be read into in these uh, graphs. And um, therefore I, because not that good, I reactivated the Muse uh, headband for channel because uh, these, they now sell it at $198, which is really quite close to the Muse 2, which also, already also has a heart rate but uh, pulse ox oximetry, uh, which is um, even better than only the hardware. Uh, and therefore I, uh, two or three days really spent on, on Android to, to, to upgrade it and to show the alpha beta waves. So, so to compare uh, um, this graph uh, to, to, to my graphs uh, here. <laughs> so that was a previous night or the previous previous with the first five minutes breathing. My method, as I said, I'm, I had this idea of, of actively going into sleep. It, it would be like uh, going through the door. And um, with the neurofeedback, I could open the door. And so you, 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 that's the idea. I'm really very confident that this is going to work. But it's hard to learn. And that's why I would like uh, neurofeedback. And so that's uh, really it's a door or a spiral staircase that you, it's a hard way to go up, but it's a directly way into sleep. And I'm not a meditation guy. <laughs> so many uh, ideas in, uh, in my head. And so uh, really to stop thinking that's <laughs> a waste of time uh, in my life. And so then thinking and again, my method and in the end breathing five minutes. So, uh, and you don't really see here any, <laughs> So uh, is my app good or is the data of the muse any good? And, and so that was uh, the second night uh, where I uh, changed between brain off and, and my method and, and breathing and also not really good. But then I did compare it uh, to the muse data because the, the API of, of the, I still have an old version. They took the API for Android off uh, for I guess for several re reasons, and one reason definitely is because Android is such a sucks. It's such a shit. It, to program Android apps, it's it's horror. <laughs> and so here, yeah, ups uh, on the on the top are uh, is my uh, Fourier transformation, and the bottom is their Fourier transformation, and there you really can see um, changes uh, with these five minutes uh, small sessions, um, but. Um, I, I will, um, this night I did run it again, and so uh, I will uh, do this uh, later. And uh, yeah, now I want to show you uh, this app. Uh, so I made, made this a folder version, and here you can have saved sessions. And so here, this is uh, last night. And if you play it, uh, back to EG. And so here, and then you have the, the front channels, which were good. And so that's the main focus for me to, to focus because uh, uh, this also only has two forehead channels. And therefore, um, I, I 
did not um, you see um, it's hard behind the ears to get some really uh, good noise signal and so it's better to focus on the four channels anyway and so um, um, that was a session and then they can have five minutes uh, 30 minutes window but as I'm not starting it can average over sec 60 seconds or five minutes and um, stop the play and just wanted to show you uh, use this emulate um, so every channel that's um, to show you real that uh, what I'm doing it's it's okay so my full transformation does work <laughs> yeah, and so I have uh, different uh, wavelengths so my full transformation with the hamming function really um, shows these uh, four uh, spikes and you also can see now, for example, if I make, I think this is the highest frequency. And then here there's a beta, is it the beta or the gamma? Uh, I already, the gamma um, wave, really the band is, is a maximum 80%. If I go to this, then it's a beta uh, frequency at 25 Hertz. So here it's in the middle. You can also have um, 20 Hertz, but 50 Hertz is, is the best window. And here, so and now we have the alpha, and, and here is, uh, I think, the data, data or theta. Um, I want to show you this so that you can see that here now the graphs um, that I'm showing you, these indeed reflect um, wavelengths. And um, okay, that was uh, stop as uh, emulate. And now, uh, ah, yes, something. <laughs> To the these band waves, you see, it's, it's, they are somehow um, um, uh, linked to relaxed state, state, dream state, uh, focus, and so that's, that's the delta wave, the lowest four, and then four to seven, seven to thirty. Uh, Wikipedia is a bit, uh, uh, it's it's one to four, four to eight, and eight to twelve. Uh, here, the alpha, the most most uh, first uh, discovered and that can be detected from the optical lobe du during relaxed full weakness blah 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 well and the optical lobe at uh, here in the back <laughs> so not really any use and um, yeah yeah this is this nice app um, I have this uh, now I can already go to the muse uh, where you can uh, select the muse and I really would like to add here all these others. I would like to add this, the flow time so that we really can compare the, the, the data on a, with the same uh, same app. And um, I also have, where, where are I? Uh, yeah, of course, this is the old Neurosky one channel. Uh, and, and, and here there's a Melon, uh, was a Kickstarter that uh, and is no longer uh, available. And, and where, where is the most, uh, sorry, here. <laughs> The emotive insight. I even got um, uh, the the developer API. So uh, all of these I could um, bring here uh, into this uh, my nice brain brain robo. So uh, again, I kindly ask these nice guys if they could give me access. But perhaps they don't want to give me access because uh, they are not really confident of of, of the data. So back to my nice app and yeah now let's um, so I really can show you the difference between the my data and the muse data before so it's on and now connect this always takes a lot of time because as I said Andrew it is such a mess <laughs> oh no here we are uh, so make a bit uh, skin and um, so, put it on. It's really uh, this to get all for, for all the five uh, never really succeeded uh, to get all five sensors uh, to get contact. But uh, well, <laughs> go to YouTube and, and search uh, emotive um, videos. They're really incredible. And so the easier it is to get some five signal, minutes. Um, the Yay, that's uh, the audio output, so I can uh, change my mind state without uh, without uh, moving or opening the eyes, and so that's why I'm showing you now the, the latest. So here, these are the channels, and again you see 
uh, behind the ears uh, crazy, but the forehead is quite easy. Now, and here the, the right number sets the maximum amplitude and the, I, that I use for detecting the, the clicking. So you see here the left ear, I have to readjust. Um, and I'm planning to also make a voice output so that you can, um, that's also for here in mode. It would be nice if you have like the, the muse to, to give some uh, feedback um, if the sensors uh, lose contact because if you're making a 20 minute session and suddenly uh, in the middle, uh, still not work. But uh, anyway, um, we are now focusing only on the, the front. And you see it's uh, like yeah, the 60 uh, seconds. Okay, now for demo it's just uh, 10 seconds. And if I change to Muse, uh, you see different bands are now. Now it's the uh, Delta or Theta, um, is it? What is the blue, the Delta? Is, is the most uh, prominent. And if I um, go to my, uh, still the Delta. But uh, the, what's the green one? It's the next, the next one, the Theta is also um, very, very. <laughs> uh, but this um, depends on how uh, you set uh, the bands from, um, as I showed you, from zero to four, or from, uh, as I said, it can from four to seven or four to eight. And here with my app, uh, it's really a, so the first, uh, I think that the Delta is only one bar, so only one point that I average over 10 seconds, I, I, I think. And the next one is over two. And so there is, um, you have to be clever to select the, the band, bands so you really get um, different uh, data. And so back to the one second. And uh, here five minutes, no, still uh, one second. Uh, and now we'll just give it a short, try so you see i close my eyes uh, and then um, for one minute uh, i will sync my method and the next minute i will shut off my brain uh, that's by imagining some uh, try to focus on on the back side of your <laughs> mind so your eyes really get turned off uh, that's that's my way with uh, the muse app to get the, the most birds so it's 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 possible to to look at at your backs uh, at your back head. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, I show you the muse data because I think that's the better one, as you can also see here down below. Um, okay, start recording. Zero minutes. And only a short demonstration. And now uh, looking at my back head. Now really difficult now, it's daytime too to do something. So yeah, maybe you have seen some changes. And um, okay, you can here, if you do not sum up, then you already see here that uh, some lines do not get any data at all. And that's strange because so it's even, yeah, right. Uh, sorry. Uh. But as I said, the harder it is to <laughs> to really get um, undistorted noise, uh, the better is the quality of, of the EG data. And see, and now I'm back to uh, both channels uh, delivering uh, good data, uh, but the backs is still uh, 
That's all right. That takes a lot of time. And as I said, uh, it would be cool if you have some audio feedback, if you uh, shut off your eyes, because you should shut off your eyes. And um, okay, now I think that's for the demonstration. Turn it off again and uh, stop the recording. Yeah, that's still buggy because now I've turned it off and I've not forget about that. Um, and discuss last night's session. Uh, so where is it here? And so that was uh, five sessions for five minutes. And uh, first five minutes uh, was um, my method, then looking at the back. So shutting off your brain, again, my method, shutting off your brain, again, my a session to really um, see if um, this new somehow detects that my mind uh, state somehow changed, and and you hear and it's also the, my my um, my Fourier transformation and the bandwidth uh, bands uh, detection. Uh, it, it looks like uh, there is oh, every five minutes something is changing a bit. But now let's quickly go down uh, because here is a forehead that really looks uh, useful. <laughs> but uh, again, uh, useful, but not that simple like, well, alpha is uh, this and beta at that. So here the first um, time. And uh, what, I focus, what I focus right now is here the, the shift from one mind state to the other was uh, in this case here, it was uh, dropping and going back or increasing and going back. And here in the next shift, that, that was a constant shift to the other side. And uh, to understand this, you have to understand my averaging because I average over 60 seconds and I do this from the beginning. So um, the most right data is always uh, right now data and I do not average about data right now um, and, but then uh, over ten, two over three or four five six up to 60 seconds and then uh, the first uh, data is omitted and then the 60 seconds shift this is quite nice because uh, the most right data is always uh, as it is now and, and not average over 60 seconds uh, but this has the effect that he, now at the end of, of uh, one session, uh, the average is also mostly <laughs> about the next session. Uh, and therefore, you see, uh, that's, that's a shift, you see. It, it, it shows you that, well, in the next session was something different. And so, uh, but this um, next session also is a major part of the uh, average. And the, the more close you get to the next session, and therefore, you see this shift here is really look really looks very nice. As if I well here that was a brain off, and here my method really there was a shift uh, in the brain state. Uh, but now you, you might say, well, what's here? <laughs> There's not really a shift. Uh, but uh, this again, it might be uh, that I changed my mind, and so I got distracted, and then I got back on track. Uh, and, and therefore, this uh, back on track, um, this um, um, having the mind and needed to adjust to the new state uh, resulted in, in such a uh, drop or increase. And then you might now look at here, okay, um, the shift from my to brain off was such a block. And, and so we have to look again from here. Uh, so the third to the fourth was again, and okay, <laughs> might be. And here the fourth to the fifth, that was again um, from um, brain off to my method, that was a shift. And that's uh, the same as here, from brain off to here, so a shift. So yeah, <laughs> one might say that this could be uh, useful data. Yeah. And as now, if, as I said, my is also, well, it's not that bad. <laughs> you again have here the, the drop uh, from uh, my method to brain off. And uh, it's again here. And now here you have a shift. Uh, let's, so it should be always um, 
a job, a shift, a job, a shift. Uh, and so, okay, yeah, maybe this is a, a peak and this is also. Uh, but um, that's very interesting because uh, this uh, really, it's it's not only the hardware, yeah, it's, it's software also. And so um, it's it's a brand new product and maybe the, the hardware so it's not that good and then well, you cannot do anything with software. Maybe then software can uh, still be improved. And they also told me in the comment section that I should contact them, which I would like to do, uh, if I could help them in, in, in some way. And so, and, but here you see with, with my fuel transformation, there's a lot of improvement until I reach their uh, fuel transformation, because I think that's the only thing you can do. Uh, here, we we'll look, uh, also if you, uh, what that? Yeah, this, these were all, all four channels, and, and this is only the outside channels and the four channels, and so you see there's um, still uh, these these changes, uh, but um, also differences in in the in the different uh, brain waves. Uh, but I'm not. And because yeah, oh, that could be because other regions of the brain. But yes, as I said, uh, I showed you here. There's always a more, lot more of distortion, and so there are a lot more of um, let's say higher frequencies. And therefore, as uh, all these bands sum up to 100, if now there are more of the higher frequency, then of course uh, these uh, will show a different uh, behavior. So uh, I'm not uh, really have to do. Every night now I have to do this. Here that was the left uh, hemisphere with the right hemisphere. Um, so here did I think they did not show uh, up a lot of differences. Yeah, it really looks uh, about the same. And that was, uh, what this? Uh, outside, inside. Yeah, this was a five minute average. And as you can see, my data, yeah, okay, it, it also looks like here. And as I said, if it goes up, uh, then it just indicates there's a shi uh, shift to another mind state. And here, I average over five minutes, and these were five minute sessions. So as here, this increase, it shows that, well, the next uh, five minutes there's a different mind state. Uh, and you see, now I could um, start thinking because I want this neurofeedback. And uh, I could use this data to say, aha, uh -huh. uh, so a high, uh, what's the green, uh, so the green balls, uh, <laughs> a theta or the delta, uh, the theta, I think. Uh, so a high theta uh, is uh, something specific uh, uh, in opposition to this uh, brain off method. Uh, and so, but then I would say, okay, uh, here there was a decrease and still it, it went down. And only when I went back to my, uh, um, method then uh, it stabilized but it did not increase so yeah okay but again the news did a better job uh, uh, on um, did, um, detecting these uh, band five band wave and uh, I, this five minute would all would be better if you really have 20 minute sessions so uh, if you are just uh, have five minute sessions and the 60 seconds is better and here, if I do not sum up, uh, then you can see that the data is at least somehow pres persistent. So you see these uh, four, I uh, don't know which are the upper, I guess uh, the two is uh, forehead and the others are the backhead. And as I said, the shift might only be because the back uh, the data quality is, is, is less and not because it's another uh, brain section. Yeah? And also here to the right, that's uh, nice. If you average over 10 seconds only, uh, then really it's it's pure noise. Uh, my was a bit better than, than there, but uh, again, you see, even if you have such a incredibly big noise, uh, if you average over a longer period, then you really get a useful data. And that's what I'm very proud and happy about my app here, uh, that uh, indeed uh, I can have, have, I have proven that, uh, at least the news, uh, uh, 
does uh, really deliver some brain data. I'm not really that confident that it really uh, represents these uh, higher mind states. Uh, and anyway, I w if I would go on with my idea, I would use a neural network and and <coughs> now we can. Uh, anyway, uh, every every full transformation, so not five band waves, but uh, let's say a twenty or uh, twenty to thirty uh, full transformation coefficients, and, and then <laughs> let the magic of uh, artificial intelligence do their job. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Here is uh, nice data, and uh, again, here, please. <laughs> Uh, I, I would like uh, to, because um, right now the price of 198 is a bit, um, uh, where, where are we here, uh, is a bit uh, tough, but uh, they just shipped uh, their pledges to, the, to, to, our, to their backers and so they may not have enough of them to, to, to deliver for $99. And so uh, I, I think really if the software improves or if uh, the, I am wrong and they really, you see they have their meditation app, but uh, that's uh, what, what I do not really like. They only have meditation for um, 20 minutes and then you can look how you, uh, how you meditated, if it was good or bad. And, and uh, that's again what you can see here in my, uh, do we have some, yeah, here. Um, your mind always wanders. Uh, you get distracted and you come back. And, and it's also with the uh, Muse app, uh, there is this, this is score how, how often you um, can't, got distracted and got back. And this might be also a, a good uh, feature because then you can train how you quickly come back to your focused state. Huh? And, and so uh, this is uh, something um, that's always, uh, you, you cannot, um, at least we beginners, or me, the beginner, I cannot really stay in this uh, my brain state for five minutes. I always wonder. And if you do not have no feedback, uh, and it, then you don't know that you have <laughs> gone away. Especially uh, when I felt asleep, uh, uh, then uh, five minutes uh, gone and, and said, oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to think about my uh, brain state. And therefore, you can really see here that um, if I would have feedback, then I'm, these graphs might become way more better. You see, that's the next thing for me to do that I will get um, some settings where you choose uh, what, where, which bands you want to go up and which bands you want to be low. And then you get a, a feedback telling you, ah, oh, now here, this and, and so. Um, and that's why, what, why I'm doing all this, because they do not offer feedback. They just, um, it's a gadget where you do your usual meditation and in the end, well, you have an app and you can see some scores. Uh, but um, I want to understand uh, why, do, why don't they offer neural feedback? And it might either be because, well, the, the EEG data quality is not good at all. So we have to average over 20 minutes to get some useful data. Uh, or they um, simply um, do not for, have not yet focused on this. And I would like to, as I said, because I think neurofeedback is really, if uh, these uh, gadgets uh, really um, have any use, then it's going to be neurofeedback. And so, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> and uh, really, I would like other uh, backers, um, people more, uh, trained to meditation, uh, please uh, send me your, um, uh, your screenshots of now where are we here. And so um, perhaps then you really see achievements that I, I cannot achieve because um, I can only do a little bit of neurofeedback, like getting a bird uh, to, to, to sing with, with the muse. And so simply meditation is, is I'm, I'm the wrong tester for this. And that's why I spent a lot of days here. I, of course, I can upload it to, to the Google Play Store, but uh, there's always oh, lots of things to do to, until you get um, accepted. And so if you want this um, on, on the Play Store, give some feedback.
OK。